Dear family, it's your cousin, Cutting Pete, man. I pray all is well out there. Um, I'm going to start to um, bring people in shortly. But nevertheless, I try to get home fast. I try to get home very fast, to, you know. But we're going to start this podcast tonight. <clears throat> Okay, let me see. Ah, I'm trying to help this. I got a new little stand. So I'm doing something different. Dear family. So bear with me. Y'all chill out for a while. I'm going to go down. Hey, Stan, I'm, I'm on the podcast, don't, so don't be talking so loud. You told him yourself again. I just heard somebody talking. If, if somebody, if, <clears throat> if, if, she finna come fix something right now. Your family, it's your cousin, Cut P, man. I pray all is well out there. In the name of Allah, who came to us in the person of Master Fraud Muhammad, to whom all praise are due forever for raising up in our midst, our dearly beloved leader, teacher, and spiritual guide, none other than the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I want to greet friends, family, brothers, and sisters, and divine greetings of peace of Asalaamu Alaikum. How y'all feeling, man? I, I've been... I've been working for my daughter all day, man. She didn't put me to work. My baby put me to work, and I tried to get home to do this podcast at exactly 5, I mean, 8.30. We're going to start this podcast today. I mean, we're going to start this podcast tonight. Wait on this thing to load up. Um, accept people for who they are, not, not who you want them to be. We're going to start that podcast shortly, dear family. Let me see. I'm trying to get this to stand up. I tried to rush to my office to get it right. You know, it looks like it's not going to work out for me. Give me one second, dear family. I ain't one thing. Come on, man. <clears throat> you know, we got to accept people for who they are and not who we want them to be, and that's very important. Oh, here we go. I got to start off by, uh, come on. I definitely always play this song. I love this song. <clears throat> Dear family, let me see. Okay. It's your cousin, Cousin P. How y'all feeling out there? This is a beautiful song. This getting me in the mold. It gets my energy going, man. So Black and So Beautiful just dropped the single, 104 Chips. Y'all go grab that off Apple, Tidal, Pandora, um, Spotify, any and everywhere streaming music. I mean, any, any and everywhere my music is streamed because the P is there, all right? How y'all feeling out there? You know, go to so black and so beautiful.com and get your apparel. So beautiful, so so black and so beautiful.com and go get your apparel. I got brand new 
um, apparel here. Go check it out. Represent so black and so beautiful, so brown and so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. That's the new brand. You heard me? Tonight, we're going to get in the podcast, man. Accept people for who they are and not who you want them to be. Son of my eye. Uh. Son of my eye. How y'all feeling out there, dear family? It's a beautiful song, man. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah such a beautiful song accept people for who they are and not who you want them to be it's a waste of time it's a waste of energy And we got to be quick thinking, fast moving down the modern times in a time in which we're living. It's a beautiful song, man. I love you, babe. I love you. So black and so beautiful.com, man. Go get your apparel immediately. Go get your apparel immediately, man. It's selling like hot cakes. It's the best thing on the market. It's the best thing on the market right now. Go get your go get your apparel, dear family. So black and so beautiful.com, man. Shout out to the staff that's been handling business. Um It's a beautiful song, isn't it? It's a beautiful song. If you have any questions for Cousin P, man, you know, type them, and we'll get down to the nitty gritty. So black and so beautiful. You know, I got the new caps out. I got the new snapbacks. I got the new beanies. I got the new... uh, uh, women track suits. I have the new album. I have the primary. I have the new single, the mix, So Black and So Beautiful mixtape part one. So Black and So Beautiful, the album is out as well. You go to all s- streaming platforms to go download that immediately. Go to my YouTube page and share, subscribe, or like. I will be dropping me and Master P in the studio working on the album shortly. You got to go subscribe to my YouTube channel to get it. You heard me, dear fam? I love that song. I love that song, dear family. Now, how y'all feeling? <clears throat> Normally, I don't even walk around my palace like this. But uh, we're going to get this podcast started. Uh, we're going to get this podcast started, man. I like the setup right here. If my thing would allow me to set up, let me see. We're going to set it right there. It was coming out. Damn. If I set it on the ground, let me see. Is it going to work? Go sit down. Nope. It's damn. Damn, dear family, it's not going. It's not even going to go. You know what? I could put it right here. This might be perfect. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, there it is. There it is. Dear family, it's your cousin, cousin Pete, man. We're going to get into this podcast tonight, man. And the podcast is titled. Who is that? The podcast is titled. Accept people for who they are and not who you want them to be. You waste time, you waste money, 
and you waste, actually you waste so much uh, energy trying to grow somebody into what you want them to be and they really ain't ready. This thing is not, I'm saying it's not standing right, man. And so we're going to identify these people that we have among us that ain't that that definitely we're wasting time on. I got to get this podcast to stay steady. I got to go back to my office now. I thought I could do it in there, but unfortunately, it ain't going to work out. <clears throat> so look at their family. We have to be conscious and aware of individuals that have not grown into their purpose. We have to be conscious of that. We waste time, we waste energy, and we waste money on wanting people to be something to us that we are to them or just wanting people to be better than what they are. You know, helping and assisting is great, but you got to identify the individual in terms of their maturity level. Because here you are trying to assist, help, and guide an individual that have not yet matured into what God intend from them, intend for them to be, until their purpose because every human being on our planet has a purpose you have to just tap into that energy and identify what you're great at not what you're good at but what you're great at what comes natural to you and so here we are believing in people that don't believe in themselves here we are wanting people to be something But they don't, they haven't yet identified who they are. So we waste time, we waste energy, and we waste money. Start believing the person on who they are. It says, judge the tree by the fruit it bears. See, dear family, we are, we we can identify what the human being is, who we're dealing with, because we're judging a tree. Is the is is it responsible? Is it consistent? Is it reckless? Is it is, is it in the streets? You know, you want a man to be something to you, but do you know that the streets is an environment, and and, and environment controls the nature of all things. So you want a man to be something to you, but the environment. You have, you have identified that this man is in the streets, yet you believe he's supposed to be your confidant, your supporter, your provider, your protector. It's a different mentality when that man is in the streets and you would ex- and you expecting a man to come home every night. <clears throat> you expecting men to be faithful. You expecting all these things because you haven't yet identified who you dealing with, and this is why you have to stop uh, believing or even thinking you could, you need to start accepting people for who they are. Sort of, for example, if I own a property, dear family, and I do, and I got love from one of my family members, yet I know that one of my family members are, is very irresponsible. Because I'm looking at the conduct and character of the individual, and they always pay their bills late. They ain't got no car, but they want to live in your house, and you think they're going to pay your rent on time. See, red flags. We have to identify what we're dealing with, and we have to make the best decisions. And this is, you know, um, what we have to start doing in 2021 to save us time, to save us money, and to save us energy because we fall out with these type of individuals all the time. 
we always falling out with individuals that that we trying to grow them into what they don't recognize themselves. Like we see potential in the individual, right? But they don't see the potential within themselves. And we say, yeah, you could do it. And then we start supporting it and guiding it. And it keep falling. It just keep falling. It just keep going and going and going. At some point, enough is enough. That means that they haven't grew into what God intend for them to be because they still have to go through their trial and error. So you're wasting your time, dear family, if you haven't identified it yet. That could be your son. That could be your daughter. It could be your boyfriend. It could be your girlfriend. It could be your husband. It could be anybody. You have to start identifying people's strength and their weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? We see a lot of weaknesses, yet we 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 allow the emotion of love to conflict with what we see and what we observe, but ultimately what we know. And we know that individual ain't ready for responsibility, yet we go buy the individual car. We give the individual our heart. And you wonder why you hurt and crying and weeping. You tried this, man, because you were so caught up emotionally. It blinded you from seeing the reality of who you're dealing with. And this is why we have to start accepting people for who they are and not what we want them to be. I used to always say, I'm always to people what they not to me. That's because the people ain't me. And I was expecting them people to do as I do to them, but they don't have the mindset. They don't have the intellect. They don't have the spirit. They didn't have the guidance. They lack something thereof in that department. And I'm always wanting people to be to me what I am, what I am to them. And so I had to, you know, look at myself. I had to identify, wait a minute, I'm a great human being. Everybody ain't great. As my cousin said, you can't keep it real with everybody because everybody ain't real. Everybody ain't on your level. Everybody ain't going to think like you. You know, everybody ain't going to uh, uh, be as consistent or considerate as you everybody not going to do that and so when you expecting that you set yourself up for failure and we all have set ourselves up for failure for example i had an individual years ago and i wanted to bring that individual up to my level of understanding so that we may be in the same mindset and it took them, it was 10 years of wasted time, wasted energy, and wasted money. And so I learned that everybody cake is not ready at the same time. <laughs> everybody dinner don't get ready at the same time. And I was trying to, you know, in my eyes, from a spiritual point of view, I was trying to hurt cook the dinner so damn fast and get it ready, but the, that dinner just needed a little bit more time in, in, in the oven. And so I was wasting time, I was wasting energy, I was wasting money, and she had not yet grew into the purpose that God intended for her to be. And so I had to step back from that situation, and about a five years later, that individual blossomed, but we have to understand time. We have to understand time and we have to understand motion. Where there's no motion, there is no life. What did I mean by that? What do you mean by that, dear cousin P? Well, life is the activity of business. The earth is spinning at a rate of 1,000, 0, 37, and one third miles per hour on its own axis. Where there's motion, there's business, there's activity. Well, the the earth is spinning in by God's permission on its own axel, access. However, it's for a purpose. It's handling its business, what it was created for. So when you look at God's creation and when you look at life is motion and motion is life, if you see an individual 
and neutral, there's no life there. If you see an individual doing the same thing they was doing yesterday, there's no motion there. You have to start identifying people that are moving. Quick thinking, fast moving down to modern times or you will be wasting time, energy, and money. So dear family, accept people for who they are, not what you want them to be. We have children that are irresponsible as hell. And as parents, we try to assist our children and guide our children. But if you don't control the narrative of your environment, you don't have control of your children. This is why they said the environment is stronger than the nature. Understand when your child is mature enough to accept certain responsibilities, to accept certain gifts and to accept certain positions, because you can put your child that you know that is not ready in a position they're not prepared to handle. And you could do your child and you a disservice by putting the child in the position of power and destroy the confidence because they don't know the position at all. So please identify what you're dealing with. Please recognize the individual at all times or you will be losing time, money, and energy. Accept people for who they are and not what you want them to be. Know when the individual was not ready to go. Know when the individual was not prepared to be in a great relationship with you. Because if you bring in something to the table that represents motion, which represents activity, which represents um, um, well, let me say this to you. If you bring in something to the table that represents business, motion, and activity, and you bring an individual to the table that you so-called like because you emotionally caught up mentally, that you see no motion, you don't see no 401k coming, you don't see nothing coming that can sustain your relationship from a righteous point of view, then what you bring in is, is death and destruction to your life. What do I mean by that? You working, but the individual is not. The individual is a hustler. I ain't knocking no hustlers at all because I come from the streets like a, like crazy. And those who know Cousin P know what time it is for me. But wherever my mind was, it was always it was always business. It was always activity. It was always motion, making my money make money. I never smoked a drink in my life. It ain't never interest me. But about that money, I had a bad habit of getting that. And I do to this day, just in a different way, dear family. However, start to identify who you're dealing with. Start to recognize that you got to stop wanting people to be what you want them to be and accept them and accept them for who they are until they grow into the purpose, until they grow into the knowledge of self, until they grow into a maturity where they can leave behind the the bullshit and be prepared to build. To build. I'm gonna tell you a story that happened to me that made me see life differently. When you see a great man, believe there's a great woman that backs a great man. I don't give a damn who you see on this planet as being successful. Wherever there's a great man, there's a great woman. And wherever you see a great woman, there's a great man. 
the mother is the first teacher of life. Out of the womb in which we come from the mother, she's the first teacher of life. So she grooms the man from her God-given spirit. Understand me, dear family. She's the mother of civilization. So wherever you see a man, know that there's a great woman that's backing that man. He ain't doing it on his own. Wherever you see a great woman, there's a great man. Who is man? Man holds the seed of life. With, as woman brings forth that seed. Man is a replica of God himself. Woman is a replica of God himself. She's called the second coming of God. My point in saying all this, dear family, is when you see a great man, it's because there was a great woman that made a man or helped a man to get to where he's at. And so something that happened to me in my life where I knew that I was immature, yet I thought I was responsible. I was going to buy a property and I didn't understand the business and I didn't understand activity and I didn't understand motion in the real estate business years ago. And so I went to go find property. We found property. We were going to buy property. And I tried to come with the street mentality. See, street mentality is dead knowledge. Different knowledge, but I call it dead knowledge because the knowledge in the streets really is really is a confined knowledge where, you know, it's only jail, death, or prison. I mean, jail, death, murder, rape, kill in that society. Well, when I leaped over into a different lifestyle for me, long, make a long story short, I tried to bring that mentality into a different world of real estate. And I was, we was going to buy a tuplex and uh, they wanted 157 for the tuplex, two bathroom, I mean, two bedrooms, two car garage, beautiful big backyards. And I said, let's give them 146. Low balling like crazy, like I'm on the streets. So that woman, that beautiful woman. was teaching me a lesson at that time. She said, that's not how you do gonna do it. I said, nah, hell with them. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna bid at 143. She knew that I was making a mistake of my life and this was a great property. And so I lost that property on a bid. <laughs> and I made a fool of myself. And so I had to humble myself and say, I don't know this business. I got to learn it. I got to fall back. This ain't my cup of tea. And I apologize for us losing that property. And it, be, and it was because I was immature. I didn't have every life. There's different lives on our planet, you know, meaning different careers. You live a different life in terms of, you know, if you're in a dr drug game, that's a life. If you're if you're working a nine to five, that's a life. If you're a millionaire, that's a life. It, there's different lives, meaning that there's different information in each life that you would just have to learn. We're talking about accepting people for who they are, not what you want them to be. She believed in me, so she brought me into the deal because she looked at me. And seeing what she's seen, 
yet I was immature. I lost all that property at that time on the bid. And she said that, you know, I knew that you was making a mistake, but you, I wanted you to see the process of what failure looked like when you bring that mentality in this world. And so I lost the, that property to duplex. And I told myself I'm going to fall back and allow myself to be taught what I don't know. And from that day forward, I have been successful on allowing people to teach me things that I don't know. Now, all you see out of your cousin P is business, motion, and activity, friendships in all walks of life. So, dear family, it could be the closest person to you is my point. <laughs> Accept people for who they are, not who you want them to be. Because she didn't accept me. She accepted me for who I was. And then she wanted me to be something that I wasn't prepared for because I didn't have the mindset or the mentality at that time. However, I made a major mistake in losing. Damn, I missed that property. That was one of the ones I let get away. But God has blessed me. So I'm grateful to have recovered from that and owning more property. So my point is, start accepting people for who they are. Quit thinking your man is going to be something that he ain't if he, does, if he was the same way last year. What is the direction? What are the goals? Have you talked about them? It's going to be day in, day out, same thing. And anything that stays the same eventually dies. Stop, stop, start accepting people for who they are. And you will know that you're wasting your time and you have to disassociate yourself sometime with individuals that's not prepared already. So with that said, dear family, I want to thank everybody for listening. Accept people for who they are and not who you want them to be. They're not ready. They're not prepared. And you have to identify that or you will be losing money, time and energy. It's your cousin. Couldn't be, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. The album is out. The realest shit I ever wrote. You go to all social media platforms. Go check that out. Go grab that. It's only 99 cents. It's a dope song. It was a song calling for reconciliation for my children. Because, yes, in my family, there's some disagreements and some misunderstandings. And it comes from a, a history of family being, being in disagreeable moments or being in situations that we have not yet recovered from. But, hey, I'm going to take the torch and see if I can recover. As long as I throw the rope, everybody has a responsibility, a responsibility either grab it or not. But this is my olive tree or olive branch that I am giving to my children, some of my children that I'm in disagreement with. I love them, but I'm in disagreement, disagreement with. And we have to reconcile the differences. We have to wreck reconcile the differences because they are differences but as a man and I am that the song was a tribute to my growth of out with the old and in with the new out with the pride out with the arrogance out with the uh, stubbornness in with reconciliation in with being a servant of God, in with being a better man than I was yesterday. You could take it or let it alone, dear family. Go get my album. So Black and So Beautiful is on all streaming platforms. I just dropped 104 children. Uh, it came out yesterday. Um, and I'm working on the album to that. And then that will be out on the 30th. Go get the album immediately. Go 
Go to soblackandsobeautiful.com and get you some so black and so beautiful gear. So brown and so beautiful gear. So beautiful, so beautiful gear. If you so black and so beautiful, represent your kind and love yourself. That's what that represents. It represents unity. It represents family. Why would you not represent yourself? It represents the brown man, the black man, the red man. So with that said, dear family, I appreciate you for listening to your cousin P. If you have any questions, tap into my DM and I will answer all of them. I salute you. I'm headed to L.A. in the morning to handle business and then I'm shooting to Vegas from there. All praises due to God. Peace.